Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and uh, click the like button. I appreciate it very much. It does help my channel a lot. Um, and I want to make a correction now. On the last video I just did, YouTube does explain. But when I read it, I didn't get nothing out of it. It was still, to me, just, um, I don't know what you want to say. Stuff I just didn't get a handle on. So I hope I did a little bit easier, maybe, uh, for people to understand. The, new, the newcomers, you know, that are just now starting out, posting their videos, you know, it might be helping them. So I always like to help somebody. Uh, I was helped by a mentor, mentor, and um, even though I feel my videos aren't doing as good as they could, I take it, it's probably because of my age, and the news is old, a lot of it. I try to pick the new articles that I possibly can that are fresh, if I can, but um, as everybody knows, I'm kind of busy here, and uh, I, I like to take the time to do what I'd like to do, but some days just don't let me do that. <laughs> so, because I got three doggies and two kitties, and I've got stuff doing outside of the home, and uh, so I, I'm pretty busy. But I like to keep my articles as fresh as I can. But everybody's so tired of the news because, like I stated in another video, I'm tired of it. It's the same thing day in and day out, you know. But I still like to report it because maybe some haven't read it or seen it that come to visit YouTube. And uh, maybe it can help somebody. I'm always out to help somebody, you know. Like, it's just giving, actually, of myself, which I love to do. You know, when you give some of yourself, it makes you feel so much better. Yes, it really does. Well, let's get on with this one now. And like I said, YouTube does explain about copyright. Copy. I don't know if they explain the copywriter or uh, all rights reserved or something. They might. I don't know. I didn't get much out of it. I read it, but I. it just wasn't that plain to me. But I was new. You know, and it, it gets confusing. So I hope I simplified it just a little, maybe. I hope it helps somebody anyway. Uh, Kellyanne Conway makes bold prediction regarding Trump and 2024. Kellyanne Conway, a senior counsel to former President Donald Trump, made a bold prediction during an appearance for the Christian Science Monitor. She said that he would be announcing his intention to run for president in 2024. Now, see, I'm left out here. Um, I'm doing, trying to catch up on my desktop with all the articles I have listed there and everything. Now, I haven't heard anything. Did he make the announcement yet? Let me know in a comment. I'd appreciate it. And, um, because I've still got some to go on my desktop yet. I probably won't get any new stuff today. Unless I do it this evening, which I probably will. But, um... Trump has previously indicated that he wanted the midterm elections to be over before he made a decision. And I know I did see some, I didn't read them, but I saw some and uh, his expressions wasn't happy. You know, unless that's just uh, the news uh, posting those kind of pictures or whatever, you know. I don't know. But uh, he didn't look happy, bless his heart. Trump has previously indicated that he wanted the midterm elections to be over before he made a decision. He did not want to get distracted from the conservative candidates who are expected to participate in the political movement of the red wave. See, he was stepping aside, letting the others ahead of him. Now, that's the kind of man he is. You know, he wants them to be uh, knowledgeable of how they're going to come out of this midterm election before he says anything, you know. And during the interview, Conway said that she expected Trump to make a decision regarding his political future soon. She praised the former president for not announcing yet 
and for not stepping in the way of the Democrats' chances in the upcoming elections. According to Conway, she and Trump often speak and that she advised him to hold off on any announcement until after the midterms. She went on to predict that Trump would be a big winner in the upcoming elections. She noted that many of the candidates that he endorsed would be successful. She also noted that Trump did not stop campaigning after he left office. He was still involved in the political process even after he left the White House. She said Trump wants to run for president due to various reasons. He is disgusted and sad at how the country is currently. How the country is currently. We all are, aren't we? He also feels that the country is not economically independent, has no energy independence, and does not have border security. And boy, is he right. He hit that head on. According to Conway, job seekers, job creators, the general public feel insecure about those finances and safety. Trump believes that he can win if he runs again due to how he did it the first time. He also thinks that he can draw a parallel between himself and Joe Biden if he sticks to the record and doesn't deviate from his values. Now, nobody that I know about, nowhere in this world, could say that Trump does not love his country. Now, compare him to Biden. There's your answer. Plain and simple. The Republican Party nomination for the president elections in 2024 is still considered to be Trump's to lose. He is widely popular among conservatives and his only com competition is Ron DeSantis. Now, I like Ron DeSantis too. I do. Because he was right there. He got in the middle of that hurricane iron and um, he showed us what kind of person he was. Now, I'd like to see Trump president and Ron DeSantis vice president. Yes, I would in that way if anything ever happened, God forbid, you know, uh, to the president, there would still be another good man to take the place. You get what I mean? You know what I mean. The, uh, Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida. DeSantis is more likely going to be Trump's choice for the vice presidential. I just said that, and I didn't read it, people. I just now read it. <laughs> As opposed to running against Trump directly. When asked about DeSantis' political aspirations, Conway stated that if he were running for president, he would be the best two-term governor in modern history. She also suggested that he would be able to win in 2028. You know, like I said in another video, when we're growing up, we want to be, you know, popular when we grow up. We want to be popular like a singer or a president of the United States and all this good stuff, you know, be rich and have mansions and fancy cars and all that stuff. But when you grow up and you keep reading the statistics and how the government can go, you have second thoughts. I wouldn't want no part of it. I really wouldn't. <laughs> There's just no way. <laughs> oh my goodness, it tires me out. You know, but there's good and bad in everything. That shows up every minute, every second of a day. I wish Trump all the best and absolutely DeSantis and they would make a good pair. Yes, they would. Okay. Well, I've got to move something over here. Hope I don't lose my camera. Hang on, people. I'd hate to have to redo this video. Oh, no, I'm all right. Okay, let's put this down. Whew. Boy, I lucked out there. <laughs> I never know. Oh, my goodness. Um... Now, this one here is, is kind of a last week deal, but um, let's see if I can get the, get the thing. Yeah, and of course, you know, with the midterms, 
uh, everybody's afraid of people like rats under the table and a Democrat caught red-handed violating election site law in order to prevent candidates from having an undue influence on voters. The campaign restrictions and campaign free zones are quite stringent. Despite this, candidates break this legislation on a daily basis across the country in every single state. My daughter says, Mom, you need to slow down. You know, I think she's right. Maybe I can speak, <laughs> speak more clearly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my God. Whatever. Okay, let's see. Breaks this legislation on a daily basis across the country in every single state. Those who break the law should be held accountable for their actions, and accusations pour in from all across the country. There have been changes made in Will County, which is a blue suburban county located in Illinois. Tim Brophy, B-R-O-P-H-Y, Tim Brophy, the county treasurer, reportedly conducted ele electioneering inside of the Will County Clerk's office by displaying his six-foot banners within 20 feet of voting booths. This is according to the allegations. According to the elect electioneering laws of the state of Illinois, section 10 ILCS-5 slash 29 specifies that campaign materials must be kept at least 100 feet away from the entrances, entrances, entrances of the polling places. Now, he should have known better. This kind of activities have been ruled illegal in many different places in Illinois and around the United States due to the fact that they influence voters by providing a final impression of whom they should vote for. Well, of course it would. Absolutely. A sign has been posted near the entrance of the building to make it very apparent that electioneering is not permitted inside the facility at any time and that all campaign items must be removed. Before entering the facility, visitors are required to remove any buttons, shirts, or any other articles of clothing that have a political connotation, contonation, connotation. Boy, that's a big word. Oof. A press re <laughs> it's like I never went to school, ain't it? <laughs> a press release from Gretchen Fritz, who is running for the office of Will County Clerk, was previously covered by the Southland Journal. In that release, Gretchen Fritz accused her opponent, Lauren Stanley Ferry, of electioneering herself by posting materials with her name and her face inside of an area that was designated as a campaign-free zone. On Friday, October 14th, candidate for the Republican Party, Gretchen Fritz, filed an official objection. Well, when you go to vote, you know who you're going to vote for. You don't need the distraction of posters or poster boards or pictures or anything else of another another candidate. That's not fair to the voters. Am I right? Please let me know. I don't know if I'm right or wrong half time. Friends reported that Deputy, <laughs> Deputy County Clerk Charles Pelkey treated her with utter contempt and ignored her in every way. The County Clerk Stanley Ferry discussed the issue that Fritz, but during their conversation, Stanley Ferry made it abundantly apparent that in her opinion, she was not in violation of the regulation that prohibits electioneering in voting places. Lauren Staley Ferry, the Will County clerk, was later found to have hidden any and all publicity promoting her name in office. According to reports, a comparable grievance has been lodged with the county clerk's office against the signs for Will County Treasurer Tim, Tim Brophy as of 11 
2 of 22. The supposed campaign material belonging to him can still be seen hanging about. At this time, it is not apparent whether or not the signage has been removed. Will County, Illinois residents who want to report an election code violation should get in touch with the Will County Clerk's Office via their website. It gives their website and their calling number. It is astonishing and concerning that politicians would try to manipulate votes through in elect electioneering in violation of the rule prohibiting campaigning in free zone areas. This kind of electoral tampering must be reported immediately because it is intolerable and cannot be accepted. It is absolutely necessary that we keep the honesty of our elections. The first step toward achieving this goal is to have candidates answer for their behavior. I strongly encourage anyone who sees a candidate breaking the law regarding campaign free zones to immediately report the incident. We can allow anyone to undermine our elections by disobeying the law and working to obtain an unfair advantage. It would be irresponsible of us. We will only be successful in ensuring that our elections are free and fair if we collaborate with one another. We asked uh, Rajay Pillay, P-I-L-L-A-I, and it's R-A-J, Rajay Pillay, who is running against Tim Brophy for his opinion on the act of his opponent, but he has not yet answered to our inquiry. The preceding is summary of an article that originally appeared on Next News Network. Why do people want to disrupt other people when it's in their right to vote for who they want? Advertising yourself makes you look slacky. I wouldn't vote for somebody that did that to a voter. Would you? It's unconstitutional. Oh, well. Okay. I'm on my way. Bless you. You are a blessing. Give somebody else a blessing today. See you later.